Hey, this is Dan Blue. It's uh, Sunday, March 24th. Uh, I just threw bullpen number seven. Um, and between my last update, uh, I took a vacation. My last uh, throwing day was last Sunday, so I actually had a week off, uh, which I thought was kind of a good thing because, A, I've been throwing continuously for, uh, I don't know how to, 13 weeks now. Um, and, B, after my last session, my elbow was a little bit sore. Um, I finished my last. I did... 60 throws, three sets of 20. In my last set of 20, I was uh, 74 to 76. I think I popped to 77. Um, so again, just and I wasn't pushing it, just kind of going where my arm wanted to go. Um, felt fine during it, a little bit of itchiness here and there, but you know after it, uh, I was a little sore the next day, and then into Wednesday I was a little bit sore. So I would have thrown on Wednesday, but. Um, being in Colorado, I decided uh, just to let my arm relax for the week. So today I did the same. I had 60 throws, um, and my last about 30 or 40 were in the 75 to 76 range, 74 to 76 range, and then my I had a couple handful of 77s and 78. Um, more balls were at 75, 76 this time than they were last week. And again, right now it's only been a couple hours since I threw it, and uh, that was a little bit, a little bit tender, but um, no pain, nothing really big going on. And this is the time, you know, this is how it started feeling last time, where once I got off the mound, getting progression, uh, getting, uh, getting close to 100%, um, started to get a little bit more sore. So, you know, I'm about, uh, I don't know. 16 miles, 16 miles per hour away from my peak, um, so it's getting pretty close. You know, I'm within I'm about 80 percent of my previous velocity. So, um, so I'm not worrying about it too much. You know, I'm just sort of going. Hey, if my arm doesn't feel quite as good one day, I'll just sort of back it down a little bit. Um, the progression that I made on my website again, I'm only loosely following. I'm really just sort of going by feel, which is sort of what their program was anyway. So I'm not using the velocity stuff as a guideline that much anymore. I'm just doing what I can. If I feel like I can pop it up another one mile per hour, then I will. If not, I'll just sort of stay where I'm at. So, you know, next session I'm going to look, try to get a couple more balls at 77, a couple more at 78, maybe a 79, and just sort of take that one to two mile per hour progression from workout to workout. So um, that's about it. I'll have another update, in, uh, I guess, around the 1st of April.